Hello everyone and welcome to a video where I'm going to show you guys how to get the cash that you can put either in the mom's purse or you can either use it to buy weed I think from Frank because at the end of Life is Strange before the storm episode one we find out that we can give the cash to the mom and I think that's what most people are curious about so I'm going to show you how to do that and now from what I understand what you have to do is you have to walk over here and you have to talk to the t-shirt guy and he has the money so let's try it out here hey are you selling any bucks what 20 bucks for a t-shirt right that's really expensive so you start that off and then you have to yeah you have to unlatch the parking brake and then that's how you get the car to move right looks like that parking brake is the only thing keeping that car from rolling down the ramp right so we go touch that or we have to like somehow do something with the parking brake and then that will allow us to go ahead and get the cash hey i told you 20 bucks you looking to get beat? Right. That guy's a dick. If I want a shirt, I'm going to need to get creative. <laughs> right, so we tried grabbing the shirt, but now I think we can go back to the parking brake over here exactly and get this started, right? So yeah, now you can release the parking brake. Sorry, dude. Maybe you shouldn't overcharge. <laughs> Perfect. Now that's gonna fly off. No, 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 no! Come on! And then this should give you an opportunity to steal some cash, I believe. Thanks for playing, dick. <laughs> dick. <laughs> now let's see if we can grab cash in here too. So we take a, oh, take yeah. a shirt. Sweet, sweet victory. And then he has a ton of cash down there, doesn't he? That's like 200 bucks. Right. So... If you leave the money, everything just kind of stays the way as if you never even went through this scene. If you take the money, it gives you opportunities. Right. Perfect. Holy so we got the money. Shit. I'm rich. And now there's a few things you can do with this money. You can either buy weed from Frank or... <laughs> water pipe. Or you can put the money in the mom's purse later. Right. So now we're at the point where we're in the mom's room. And in order to unlock all the different dialogue things, we're going to try to do a couple of things here. So first, I'm going to grab my phone right here. I'm going to grab the mom's phone just to kind of like search off from the beginning to show you every single step you got to do, How right? How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool <laughs> she's dating? Got to look at step douche. And then we'll find out where our phone is, which is actually in, I think in our room. Somewhere. At the very least, it's around. Oh, it's in the bathroom. Excuse me. I remember it's in the bathroom now. So we'll head on over there. But we're going to have to come back into the mom's room because she's going to ask us to grab her purse. And I think that's when Sounds we'll be like able to slip it in. Definitely nearby. But before I do that, I want to make sure I look at the ring. Because she's talking about money there problems, right? Wonder how many calls I've missed. And I have all music turned off right now because this is loaded with copyrighted music and I had so many problems uploading videos to YouTube because of it. So if you're expecting music in certain places, that's what's going on with that. Hello, okay, so. <laughs> Bring my purse down with you, please. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I saw mom's purse in her room. Right, so we're going to go to her room, but before we do that, we're going to make sure we take a look at the ring. Right? Mom's old engagement ring. Grade B. Fuck you, Arcadia Pawn. <laughs> so, you see hey, we have a new dialogue option unlocked. That's what that little option, that's what that little speech bubble means above her head right now. And now, speaking of her purse, I think that is over here. So we're gonna take the purse, we can look at the purse first. take that down to mom. And I think this is where, perhaps, we would go ahead and sneak in the money. The one thing I'm a little nervous about is I don't want to start I it hate off. That she hides all our old pictures of dad. I don't want to start it off and not have an opportunity to put it in. So we're going to put this on the dresser real quick. I don't know if this would trigger any other you extra don't feelings. To be stuck in a drawer like this. Considering that ring is kind of like the remembrance of her dad. But that choice has consequences attached to it. But now I'm going to go grab the purse now. And just see what we can do here. So I'm going to take the purse. Oh, can you grab my cell phone too? No problem, Mom. Dawdling. I need to talk to you. Yeah, that really makes me want to hurry. 
So now I'm going to go and go talk to the mom. And again, I don't think that there's Mom's anything else I gotta worry D. about here. Fuck you, Arcadia Pond. But we're gonna go Wait. downstairs with the purse. Mom's selling her engagement ring. And we'll see if we can stuff the money in the purse downstairs now. Oh, but I'm not missing something here, and I gotta redo all of this. Coming, oh boy. Mom. But we're gonna have a conversation with her, <laughs> and then we're gonna have, after we're done with our conversation with her, we'll have an opportunity to go and walk around a little bit, and I think that's Finally, when we would stuff it in the you purse. Can put we'll my see. Purse on the dining table. Might right. Still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Right. And I'm not sure. Again, dining I'm kind of playing through this. Come. I'm kind of playing through this on my own for the uh, first time here in terms of like trying to figure this out. I haven't looked up anybody else on how they did it, but if these are this is just based off of what I'm guessing you got to do. So we put the purse Chloe, here. I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I no. should see what mom <laughs> wants before she strokes out. So let's that put this mom's purse. Hmm. Still exhausted. <laughs> Better not do any more good right. deeds today. Okay, so yeah, maybe we do have to still have the conversation with the mom regarding what she feels about how we've been acting. But now we got this like 200 bucks to use and I haven't I haven't stuffed it in the purse yet. So I'm going to have to see if we have to talk to her first and then try that out. Hey mom. You wanted to talk? When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. <laughs> right? I forgot I'm, Chloe's such a little dick. So, let's try this. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? So this, yeah, now we have to talk about the engagement ring, I think, and we'll see what that does. Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Right, right, right. Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a <laughs> dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah. I love how that's her reasoning. old-fashioned dickhole. So, I'm thinking or I'm hoping, once we have to go grab the keys from the ashtray and we have this conversation about the engagement ring, that we can seek the money in the purse then. We'll see. Okay, guys, so let's see if we can slip the money in the purse now, right? Yeah, slip my money. That's how you do it. Okay, perfect. Now, I'm guessing... I don't know what you all have to do, but I think I did nail a bunch of important steps. Either way, we got there. So we'll slip her the money, and now how things change later, I'm not sure. But this action will have consequences. And I don't know if the consequences will come in now or if they'll come in later, but it is really interesting to see the difference. So, yeah, if I just look here, I can grab here the ash... they are. I can grab the keys out of the ashtray. And then that's it. My Chloe also doesn't have a bruise on her face right now. It's because I chose to... Let's get these to David so he can drive away. It's because I chose to run away this time no point rather in putting than... off the inevitable torture of driving to school attack. with David. They better get going. And pretty much all it does is make it so you don't get the bruise and a bunch of dialogue things change. But that is how you go ahead and you slip the money into the mom's purse. I figured some people wanted to see that. The other thing that you can do with the money is you can go ahead and you can give Frank the money and then buy some weed. I guess you could do that and that'd be cool, but I feel like what people are more interested in is the slipping the money in the purse, because at least that's how I felt when I ended my playthrough. I was like, what? How do I even do that? So, showed you how to do it. I don't know if you had to be as meticulous as I was, but it worked, so as long as you follow that, you should be good. So, if you guys enjoyed this or you at least appreciated this, let me know by leaving a comment in the comments down below. If you have any other ideas for videos you want to see, let me know. Leave a like and subscribe so you can see those videos. And again, I'd really appreciate the support because it takes me a while to replay through this episode over and over again to like explore different things. So, like I said, support would mean a lot. So, thank you guys. You guys are great. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video that we do around here.